Hello guys, this is a video we're gonna do a couple of things. Number one, I'm gonna show you how to make an opt-in page. But how am I gonna do that? We're going to recreate a ClickFunnels 1.0 opt-in page into ClickFunnels 2.0, a funnel that I already have and exist. And we're gonna create that page. And let's get to it. So this is a funnel in ClickFunnels, the original ClickFunnels. And I'm going to take this page and I'm going to uh, take it and I'm going to create it in ClickFunnels 2.0, which I've already done. So I got this funnel from a program that I was in. It was a partner with Anthony program. And I want to show you what this funnel looks like, at least the opt-in page. Okay. Let's see what it looks like here. And we're going to create this in ClickFunnels 2.0. So let me get it into ClickFunnels 2.0. As you can see, we in ClickFunnels 2.0. They have made some changes to this, to the dashboards, which, which I'm liking because in my last review, you know, there's some things that I felt they could improve on, which I know because they're still in beta, which will improve your experience on this platform. They're still lacking there when you can take and connect your own autoresponder to here. So right now we don't have any integration. So but they're still making strides in this. And if they continue to do that, I think you'll have a better experience. I think more people will lean to 2.0 than they do in 1.0 original click funnels. Like I said, which is still good. I'm not going to complain about that, but they're starting. I'm starting to starting to grow on me. Okay. So let's go to sites and funnels. We're going to go to funnels and we're going to go to the page that I've already done in click funnels. So we're going to preview this and you can see I'm, I'm kind of liking this sharp. This now don't, don't get me wrong. Um, like I said, I never said it was a bad platform, but there's some things they can do to make it better. And I want you to view the, Thank you page and see what it looks like. I just took one of the videos I did along though about here. And there's a lot of things you can do with this page. Now let's go back. Okay, let's let's do here. We're gonna go to funnels. And you got two ways you can do your funnels here. You can either go by the recipes. And the recipes they have already a structure built for you or you can create your funnel. So we're going to create funnel. And for the sake of this training, we're just going to call it test new funnel. Since I already built it and I'm pretty much liking what I built. So this is I'm going to create the funnel. And here we just go hit this plus button right here. We're going to click it. And we're going to go create page. And this is um, I was going to use this one. But then I saw this one here. I chose this template because it seemed the simplest that we can do that same funnel. And we're going to put test new funnel here, which I was copy and paste, paste match style. And you can do description and all this other stuff that you need to do. Page S is SEO and stuff. When you uh, do your file, we don't want this index because this is a training. We're going to create the page. So I believe if you are new to click funnels or you're thinking about getting click funnels 2.0 that you know, some people complain about starting with a template. I think it helps you and it takes away some of the, how shall I say, anxiety with starting new software because this software is, it has a large learning curve. There's things I'm still working out in this program to uh, build things in it. So it'd be good to start that way. So we're going to edit this page 
And so let's preview and see what this thing looks like. Okay, see, you can see the basic structure. It's already done for you, and it's going to help you uh, with your training in this. Because like I said, the one thing that I will say about ClickFunnels 2.0, the way it's designed, it is a tough learning curve. But the funnels, if you start there with sites and funnels, I think you'll be okay. Okay, as you can see, our basic structure here. And then you can close this out over here by hitting this so you can get the full screen. And we're going to go back and see what our funnel look like. And you saw this is what it looks like. See the structure here. And I had removed this and we got this. And it helps to pull up the original funnel because I have a second screen that I work on. So I open that up so I can look at it. And also what I did to help build my funnel from 1.0 to 2.0, I did this. I basically took all my copywriting and copied and pasted it into a Word doc. And that's going to help you do this pretty fast. So I'm just going to show you some basic things that I did. I knew I needed a, an alert bar, so I decided to do this. Got the full page section. Hit the one column live. And then I just say, let me get a sub headline here. Okay, that takes care of that. And we're going to move this to the top. So that basically gives you that, that sub headline, that, that, that call, the heading at the top. Okay, that's that. That's good. Um, I don't need this right here. Definitely don't need that. And here's our footer. We didn't need this. Got rid of that. So now you're seeing it look almost close like the page that we have. Page that we have here. See, we got this structure. Like I said, I'm not going to put that up there. We're getting this and this and this. We're going to make it look like this as close as possible. Now let's go back to 2.0 continue to build so and that's what you want to do if you want to transfer your funnels or just basically look for a template with the basic structure and then you can see that we're almost there and we're missing certain things so this part well we have that black all right let's go here and then we're going to just start with the, the headline so i'm gonna to go to my Faithful Word document, and it helps also with your Word document. If you whatever document you use to paste your copyright on, it helps to have it in order of your text on your web page. So I'm gonna copy and paste to paste and match style here, and so there's some things we got to do here. So we got to edit this. X. We need it a little larger and then we need to change the color of it too. So I like to do click that button so that way I can control the text either uh, with this slider. So I can give me sort of the type uh, to make it big as the one we've seen on the other page. And then also we need to change the color of the background. So, oh. One more thing. Change the color of the text as well. We need to make it white. So click here. Make it white. Next step, we need, of course, we, our header was black. So we're going to change the header to black, the background of black. And let's go here. You see. And this one thing that you know they have here these presets that you know it's good to have in my opinion i think if you can just click on it and just say i want to make this background black where you can just do just like you do the text 
I think that will help you out better. You know, I think that's cool and everything, but if you come from most editors, uh, they make that part simple. In my opinion, ClickFunnels is trying to be too different. And I think it's just have these things, but also have the basic structure so that new people can get through this. Okay. And so that's next step you want to change. Okay. We have this picture we need to change to our book. And so I'm going to grab that. I already have everything the asset here. This is here and change this book. And we want to change the image size of this book. Right, right about there. So let's go back to our model. And we see we got here. We got the book. Now let's get our copy. So we need to move this down. Below the button. And then... Get our headline, paste it in that style, kind of big, so we're going to go here and make the font a little smaller, a little too small, okay, and then we'll grab, it's okay, I need to go back to our model, see what we See, I've already forgot some. Forgot our bulleted text here. So that's why sometimes it's good, like you said, build the structure first. That's what I did. I put all the elements in. So let's go and get our bullets. There we go. And that's one thing I can say about this editor. That, that's a positive. Because in some editors, you have to do them separately. They've already got it already set. Uh... Particularly, Groove has to work on this part. Let's go. So now we have our basic structure. Let's go back and check our model. Okay. Got a headline on three lines. Got a little text here. And this button text. And then we have what's under the button. Let's go back. So what are we going to do here? Let's see what we can do for our font size. I think that works. I think this needs to be a little bigger too. The icons find they're here. We're going to make this a little large. that and let's grab our text for these bullets I like to do them one by one so that way it won't mess up gonna delete this text here and then we're gonna grab our other text and we're gonna delete this you wonder why I am not pasting it complete on it because I did that and it dropped everything down so this is a safe way for me to do it okay let me get this last bullet now we need to get the font color right it's a little light let's see if this is gonna work Black. All right. Get the icon colors correct. Here. Black. There we go. Let's change this font style. And we 
let's change this font style. We want it regular. There we go. Now it's looking good. Forgot what's going on with this. So we're going to change this. Get us our regular text under here. And you can, when you're doing your funnels, you can work however what works best for you. And like, take your time. So I was working section by section. And let's work with the button text. Okay, there's our button text. And we're gonna go back to our model, see how close we look. Okay, we need to tighten this up a little bit. Change our button color. Let's take this training room grab blue. Best. Update. Boom. Remember to hit that update button, okay, guys, when you're doing your funnel. Okay, so let's see where we are. I think we need to bring this in a little closer. And remember to hit this button here so that way you can work with your text. So it looks like this text needs to be come up a little bit. So let's go back here. And the margins need to come up a little bit. Okay. And now we need to center this thing. Align center. I mean, it moves that over. And now. Okay. So now let's go back to our model. Okay, we're getting there. Let's work on this button. Let's go to top margin, bring it a little closer. Yep. All right. Bring this down. Wait. We'll do it right there. Okay, let's get us a background image. Here we go. Image URL, we're going to grab an image. We've got one here. I think I used this one. And now we need to make this one parallax. There we go. And then we need to fade it out. Give us that kind of look like in the background. Let's look at our model, see where we are. Okay, we need to tighten it a little bit, bring that in a little. Okay, let's go back here. Bring this in the pattern here. We don't need we don't bring that. Give us that little and then we need to make our a headline a little bigger here. So we'll go back here and click on here and edit the headline. Make it a little larger. There we go. And then if you want to uh, mess with your icons, 
You can go here. You can find the one you want. Like, if we want to look at the check, we can say check. And if you want to put those circle ones here, that'll work. These a little large if you want. And you also can change the color to these guys. So we got that little blue. Oops. And you always can hit the undo if you make the uh, big road thing. So let's change the icon color here. Blue. Oops. Blue. So you change the icon color here, make it blue. Well, kind of getting there. And so that's what you're doing when you're transferring your funnel over here. Because I don't want to make this video a little longer. But you can go and continue to do the same thing. And if I want to make that button down here, um, we're going to go back and look at our thing, grab our headlines, put that button there, and we'll be done. And, you know, so I'm going to duplicate this because I need the same type of button. I'm going to click and drag this here. Get my model again because I got this, this, and button in these two things. So, and we'll just take this element here, copy it. So that way we got two of these, and we'll bring it over here. This button, this text, we're going to bring it under here, and then this element. Bring it here. Give us that dividers. Okay, let's get our text. Okay, I'm gonna start this video here. Let's get along, but you can see how to move your funnels over. Just try to find a template that has basic the basic structure. And then you can go from there, which will speed it up. Okay, I'm going to save this. Because if you don't save your work, it's not going to save it on your own. You will lose everything that you've done if you don't save the work. Okay, I've done that before. When I was working on this funnel, I clicked out of it. And everything I've done has changed. So just remember to do it, okay? Right, going back out. And so here is the completed one. See, I look in editor. Okay, and there you have it. Let me just view it one more time. You can go live. There it is. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks to you for your attention and time. You, you'll see ClickFunnels 2.0 is coming along fine. And I'll continue to test this system and, until they get it going. So it looks like it's going in the right direction. So if you want to give it a go, I'm going to stick a link uh, below that you can get the 30-day trial. Until the next time, keep moving forward. Peace.